And we are now at the championship match here in the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. This will be a race to nine winner's break. My name is Noel Zarate and of course our protagonist for the championship, Francisco Bustamante versus Jeffrey Ignacio. Nain na muna kita, Jeff. Eh, alam naman natin yung napagdaanan mo rito, butas ng karayom yes. para umabot dito. Tinalo mo si Ronnie at ngayon makakatapat mo si, uh, si Django. ano nararamdaman mo sa pagpasok sa kampiyonato? Uh, Unang-una, masaya at excited kasi makakalabang ko yung idolo nating lahat. Uh, uh, at pressure pa. At kanino mo naman inaalay itong paglaban mo ngayon kay Django? Uh, inaalay ko po ito sa unang -una, sa magina ko, sa nanay ko at sa mga kamag-anak at mga kaibigan ko. Okay, good luck sa'yo. No, Champ, alam naman natin na yung kaibigan mong si Antonio Lining ang kailangan mong pandaanan para mapuntahan dito sa paglaban kay Jeff. Ano naman na pumapasok sa isipan mo dito sa papasok sa ating championship? Eh, benes lang ako kay Nikoy dahil uh, ang inakala ko, talo na ako. Kaso, nag-decision kami, sumablay siya sa combination, eh, nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon na makatira uli. Alam mo naman ang, ang tembol. Mm -hmm. Basta nakatira ka, kailangan tapusin mo. Mm -hmm. So yun, ang uh, kaya nakarating ako dito sa final dahil uh, yung batch ko sumablay. So, ito na tayo. Benas ako. Okay. Ngayon, Champ, ang daming nanonood sa atin, hindi lang po dito sa Pilipinas, pero sa buong mundo, ano naman ang masasabi mo sa mga libu-libu mong tagahanga na nanonood ngayon? Uh, sa uh, mga nanonood po at sa mga... Sumusuporta sa akin. Maraming po salamat sa inyong lahat. Uh, sana po huwag kayong magsawang uh, manood at sumuporta palagi. God bless you po. Mag-enjoy kayo. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from the championship. It is Francisco Bustamante going up against Jeffrey Ignacio for the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. This is the final of the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup featuring Jeffrey Ignacio versus Francisco Bustamante. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have you back with us. We took about an hour's break to get ready for the final. Jeffrey Ignacio, the 28-year-old from the Philippines against fellow Filipino Francisco Bustamante Surigao province there you go from Surigao province in the Philippines that gentleman 28 years old perhaps in the biggest fight of his life now against the 57 year old veteran from Tarlac province so once again, Noel Zarate alongside AJ Ong, you are joining us live right here. So how is everybody doing? This is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. That's it. This is a race to nine, winner's break. Finals na ng Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. At sana nakakain na kayo mga Shark Fanatics. Mm -hmm. Make sure you join us for the duration of this battle. This could be a quick one or it could be a slow one. It all depends on this gentleman's pace. Jeffrey Ignacio. We all know that he does change gears every now and again. He, he, every now and then he can start off really quick and then slow things down. Whereas Francisco Bustamante just likes to go at one speed as fast as he can. That is our referee, Ramon Mistica, making sure that Jeffrey Ignacio is satisfied with his racking. Very meticulous because this is for everything right now here at the Hard Time Stand Ball Cup. Jeffrey Ignacio winning the lag. Break number one here in rack number one. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. And this table has not been very kind to the break so far today. Nothing on the break. Nothing again. Medyo nahihirapan niya sa Sargo tong si Idol ngayon. Pero buti kailan lang ka mo, ay uh, nanalo siya kanina. Di ba? Yeah. Francisco Bustamante does not have an easy opening shot here on the one ball. 
He's going to go for a push out. He's going to push it out to that small avenue. You can't even call it an avenue. It looks like a stream. Mong ibabalik niya dito kay ano, kay Django. But yeah. let's see. Baka naman may nakikita siyang safety dito. Well, the only thing we see is actually a kick. Yeah, ito na nga, binalik na nga. Returns it to Francisco Bustamante and immediately says one ball corner. That he's going for a kick shot. Yeah. But this will sell out. Well, it's over the side pocket. And the four does pass the nine, so there should be no more problems here if, when he makes this one ball. Jeffrey Ignacio. Jeffrey Ignacio known as the Cobra. And to get to this point in this match, Jeff, oh, Jeffrey Ignacio had to go through Brian Sagiped in the round of 16, then defeated Carlo Biado in the quarterfinals and had to go through a Hill Hill match against Ronnie Alcano in the semis to arrange a duel with Francisco Bustamante. Yeah, this layout presents no more problems. The four does pass the nine. It's just getting on the four that will be the concern. And the straight in shot on the three. So he's probably just going to stop the ball right there at the middle of the table and take the four and run into the nine. So, kamusta na kayo mga Shark Anatics? At uh, mukhang busog ata sila. At uh, wala pa rito ngayon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ayun. We have Mars Salazar, sabi niya. Uh, okay guys, sit, uh, sit back, relax. Happy watching. Yeah. Tapos, uh, to the anchorman, you're the best. Stay safe. God bless us. Maraming Thank you very maraming much. Yeah. Po. We are doing our best here. And the uh, nice navigation by Jeffrey Ignacio to get around the table. He does have enough of the four. And he's not probably going to run into the nine anymore. Yeah, the five, six plays as a combination from up table. But he can still manufacture an angle to take it somewhere else. The five ball, that is. Well, looks like he's going to take on the 5-6 combination. Yeah, he's online there. Itong si King Agedz, nagluluto ng chorizo habang nanonood. Huwag mong ano ah, huwag mong sunugin yan ah. And shout out to Michael Angelo Makinto from Doha, Qatar. Good afternoon in Doha. It should be around a little past 1 p.m. in Doha. You just call the five ball elsewhere. Oh, he called the five ball in the corner. Did not want to play the combination on the five six. And uh, did he hook? Yes. Bustamante. Na hook nga dito sa sais. And hello to you, Ayer Sorled. And, eto uh, from John Michael Talamayan. Yes, nice commentators. Sana mag online betting na din. <laughs> Yun. Well. Be John careful Michael, what you wish for. Oh, oh, dahil uh, basa tumutok lang dito sa sharks at uh, malalaman mo na kung ang sagot yan. <laughs> Two rails. Bustamante almost makes the five into the side. And it's a straight in shot to the corner pocket for the five ball, but it's really long and straight. 
and Ignacio is on the hill or make that on the rail and calls the five into the corner. Doesn't get it to go. Well, it added safe there. Well, looks like Francisco still might be able to get the the five, the five the side? into the side. Yeah. Mm. And shout out to Eric Hernandez and Reginald Cabatu, and as well as Alan Makaraig, who's watching here with us. And to GCC Micro Aviary. Shout out to Boy Canton Gachalian <laughs> of Expat Ilo Ilo. There's the five ball. The cue ball, though. Well, he wasn't supposed to hit the six. He wanted to get the six in the opposite corner. Yeah. <coughs> he wanted to get past the six, but tinamaan nga tong size. Well, now he can play safe. Probably even use the nine ball here. That's it all right, depends yeah. On what angle he sees. Send the cue ball behind the nine. With a touch of right. Nicely done. Look at that. Yeah. Thing is here, Jeff can still jump this at the Pierce. It is jumpable, but it's very hard because the cue ball is near the nine. Yeah. Kung di matamaan ni Jeff to, mukang no, that's may napipintong 6 <laughs> Let's see, huh? No, I'm not sure if he's going to take it on because everything is out in the yeah, open anyway. Yeah, out in the open. He's going to call a six ball on a kick. Mm, Contest. And there's your sellout. It's very difficult to win a safety battle against Francisco Bustamante. And from Resti, Umali Gurumauko. Safe to say that Django got a nice safety. Yeah, I'm telling you, AJ Ong is becoming famous <laughs> worldwide because no, of his safety. The plague say. is the plague. No, we didn't mean to say it, <laughs> by the way. So this is great navigation, except he's okay. Okay, he's gonna be okay here, I guess. No, he's okay. If he had gotten underneath the nine, that would have been a problem. Yeah, almost. Shout out to Michael Makaligar from New Zealand. And yeah. from Romania, Aurelian. Aurelian, ba? Puro pare pare has yung mga pangalan ngayon. Well, good evening from the Philippines. Aurelian, Aurelian. And for win number one, dito sa ating finals, Francisco Bustamante with this easy 10 ball. Oh, oh, my Lord. Is that a safe to say, AJ? <laughs> I just read. <laughs> I just read that, but I didn't say STS, man. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> yeah, that's from uh, Sir Resti Umali Gormauko. <laughs> He's safe to say... Pag ano pa lang, pag release pa lang ni Django kanina, sabi niya, naku, wala. Yeah. Kapag anon siya. I didn't leave anything easy. He's gonna call it in the corner, so it looks like he's gonna go back and forth. <coughs> oh, look oh, at that. Took it real first. Nice oh, look shot. Look at that guy. Nice shot there coming from Jeffrey Ignacio. Yeah. He will steal... Rack number one from Francisco Bustamante. That was a rail first loaded spin shot that AJ luckily made before. And look at the smile on Francisco Bustamante saying, well, I just let one get away. Yeah. Pero ano ah, Jeffrey is known to uh, cut balls like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. sobrang ano sobrang pina mga kayang kaya niya mga ganyan tira these two people uh, these two players represented the Philippines 
in international competition. Ayan, marami nagsabi, what a shot. Yeah. What a shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> yeah. We're going to count the number of times Jeffrey Ignacio asks for a re-rack here. That's one. He had three earlier. That's one for this. Okay, he only gets one now. <coughs> so rack number two, break by Jeffrey Ignacio, is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts. We're off a commercial at Hard Time Sports Bar. Ten ball looks like it's going down. Yeah, it's going to go back. It's a spot. And there's a shot on the one ball. Mm hmm Let's get to that two ball. Might be straight here though, but he should still be okay. Okay, so shout out to Gary Holstein and Osbert Di Mayuga, Manolo Pasqual, Randy Rabanal, Jason Rose. <coughs> and Hendrik Dogiles. Cobra's got pretty open layout so we could have our first break and run out yeah when it's an open layout Jeff just moves around the table really quick yeah I think the warm-up Kanina really paid off for him yeah it's really just a matter of controlling the break here because you saw the matchup by with uh, Nikoi leaning and uh, Django Bustamante earlier both gentlemen struggled to make a ball on the break. And it is winner's break, so whoever controls that aspect of the game will have a huge advantage. Able to sink it into the side pocket, that saves a lot of, or well that solves a lot of problems. Two zero to two nil, Jeffrey Ignacio. And of course, we would like to thank our sponsors: Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Kubao, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on air at DZME 1530 kilohertz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue. Vehement, all about the process. The Hadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City. Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layered Tips, Rapa Commercial, Billiard Planet, and Hard Time Sports Bar. So Jeffrey Ignacio will continue to break. Francisco Bustamante has not broken in this match yet because... Jeffrey Ignacio did win the lag. 
and he has been successful so far on his two breaks. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. We made a ball on the break, actually made two now. <coughs> Shot on the one. It looks like it's not going anywhere. Unless he forces a 110 combination. Hmm. That'll be risky. Well, the th I think the one passes the seven. Oh, it does? Yeah. So I think he's going to take this on the left corner. He's looking at it. Oh, it does. Okay. And there you go. And now he's online for a run out. Yeah, next object ball is the five. Did make the three and the four on the break. From Jason Rose, no re-rack there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what are we talking about here? Three win, three, one, and zero. <laughs> Yeah, and we have Jaynard Orge here in the building. Wow, that's one of the best pool amateur pool players in we the country. We have, that's right. Yeah. Jaynard Orge and the rest of the gang are going to get together tonight for another edition of the Sharks Nine Ball Showdown. And Jeffrey Ignacio looks like he is on track for a 3-0 lead. So I guess we're going to hear your famous saying now. <laughs> really? And look at that. He's straight in on the 7. Just stop the cue ball right there. Take the 8 upstairs. So how about it, AJ? Well, it's safe to say. There you go. In a good way, of course. Oh, of course. Because look at the way these balls are scattered around. And we have McCoy Lee Limbo Hasberg saying good luck to Jeffrey and to Django Bustamante. Yeah, may the best man win, really. Yes. And a shout out to Con Pagdanganan, who's watching here with us. Uh, this is for a 3 0 lead in this race to nine final. The winner's break is so huge here. And Jeffrey Ignacio was very serious about his practice time earlier. So he's able to control his break so far. We have not seen Francisco Bustamante since rack one. We've not seen him at the table at least. Of course, there's our legendary coach. And that is the legend right there, Francisco Bustamante. Legendary billiards coach, Ramon Mistica. Who's our uh, referee right yeah. now for this tournament? And those are two different stories right there. 28 year old Jeffrey Ignacio from Surigao, the same province that produced Dennis Orculio, going up against one of his lifelong idols. But Jeffrey Ignacio looks like the type who just shuts everything off. When he's at the table, here's re rack number two. So someone's keeping count, actually. So, you know, the re rack. Yeah, yeah, somebody's keeping count. Jason Rose. All right, here's re rack <laughs> number two, Jason. So we're up to six re racks already today. Three in the first one, one in rack two, zero in rack three. Now entering rack four, this is re rack number three. Re-rack number four coming up. So we now have a season high. <laughs> Re-rack number five. Namba, siyempre, kailangan maganda yung pag-rack sa kanya para may mapasok na bola after. 
dahil hindi rin biro ang kanyang kalaban ngayon. Nakita niya kanina kung paano mm-hmm. siyang ano, ah, makipaglaban itong si Django kanina against kay Antonio Lining. Right. So, it took five re-racks there. So, we're up to a total of nine now into rack number four. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shops, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. Uh, the re-rack didn't do him any good. That nine's going to stay up. And here comes Francisco Bustamante. Nothing on the break. This is the key shot, getting to the four. He's straight here, so... Or he, if he's not straight, he can have the angle going up to the five. Mm-hmm. Does not appear to hit. He was not straight at all, so... It's almost perfect. Nice shot. He's going to come up on top of the seven, though. And he's smiling again. <laughs> Didn't want to be right there. He wanted to go a little further down table. So another miss by Francisco Bustamante. Jeffrey Ignacio has a straight in shot here for the seven. And good afternoon dito kay Chris and Dylan Soriano. And sa lahat ng mga kapatiran ng Tau Gamma Phi. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Napoleon Pascual Jr. And good afternoon po. So that accident by Francisco Bustamante may cost him this rack. Still a journey from the 8 to the 10. And there it is. I Lined end up here for the 10. 4 0 lead for Jeffrey Ignacio. 4 nil. And K. Sir Napoleon Pascual Jr., binabati rin po kayo ni Jaynard Orke, na nandito ngayon. Also, we'd like to say hello to Ashley Toazon and family from Quezon City. They are watching the final right now. And those are greetings coming from Maestro Monching Mystica. And also to Bates Reyes from San Diego, California, Nicanor Caliado, and Robert Yulo from San Francisco. And of course, we keep on talking about our legendary referee, 
um, Ramon Maes- the Maestro Mystica. For those of you who can uh, who want to be in the likes of uh, Jeff Ignacio, Francisco Bustamante, these are the people that he actually sort of helped develop as well. Django still goes to him for tips. You can actually have lessons with the Maestro himself, Ramon Maestro Mystica. And here are the phone numbers that you can call for that. 0906-563-4799. I hope I got that right. 4299, rather. Again, that number, 0906-563-4299 or 0919-555-7634. This break now yields nothing. So now it's starting to rear its ugly head now that stable is very difficult to break on for 10 ball and Francisco Bustamante has the makings of a run out once again he can see the one the two is right next to it and there are no obstructing balls anywhere There's a 310 combination, but I don't know if Django's going to go for it. He's looking at the three ball and three ball alone. He had a mistake in the last rack. He's got a lot of catching up to do because Jeffrey Ignacio is already half almost halfway to the goal with four wins uh, it doesn't take much to get Django Bustamante going Very quick run out here from Francisco Bustamante. And this time he gets the 10. Jeffrey Ignacio, four games to one against Francisco Bustamante. Yeah, Francisco's going to take a restroom break at the moment. So, how are you guys doing out there? Oh, uh, kamusta na kayo, mga Shark And tell us where you're watching from as well. Yeah, para mabati namin kayo. Ay nangasabi ni Sir Resty Umali. Safe to say that Django will win this rock. And yun nga, nanalo nga itong si Francisco. Wait until AJ says it. No. <laughs> Ayan. Good. Good evening na pala, no? Yeah, it is evening. Gabi na. Good mm-hmm. evening sa inyo lahat. Jason Rose from Australia. Yeah. Is it Jason who's keeping the rack count? Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, the re-rack count. Yeah, we have, yeah. We're stuck at nine. But since uh, Django's breaking, let's see if that happens again. There's Jeffrey Ignacio. Likes to be very, he's very meticulous about the way things are racked. Django, one look, scratching his head. And he says, I'll adjust to this. Chrysler Hemwell from Sydney, Australia. Jazz Villones rooting for Jeffrey Ignacio. And sino pa? Tommy Imura from Sacramento, California. How are you guys doing? Here's Django Bustamante now to break. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rafa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. Ten ball goes down on the break, so does the two ball. We've got Michael Hogue Rennie from South Korea. 
Good evening to our friends from South Korea as well. Good evening. And from Michael Dakanai from Davao City. <coughs> Sean Apple from North Carolina. Wow, well, what time is it now in North Carolina? It should be around, what is that, 6 in the morning? Ryan Gastner from Florida. Yeah, it's a little past 6 where you guys are. So some of you actually tried to stay up for this, or some of you actually woke up early for this. It's the weekend anyway, guys. So yeah, that's right. Thanks for joining us. Noel Zarate here speaking in straight English for our international audience. And AJ Ong speaking in the vernacular for our Filipino audiences here and abroad. The Django has to stop that cue ball. It has to stop. It did not mm -hmm. stop. And Ball the thing is, hand. the thing is, all the players we're talking about, the guys who played here at least before, is that the table slowed down since the last time they played here. So I don't know if Django scratch was an overcompensation for the fact that the table has slowed down, or he just misjudged the speed. Mong uh, misjudgment naman talaga. There's Jeffrey Ignacio. He does have a four to one lead. This is a race to nine here in the final. Marlon Alcaraz from Maryland, USA. Tony Young from Cagayan de Oro. Nick Bernardino from Hawaii. All over the world, guys, yeah. just to watch. Django going up against the Cobra. Dwight Flores Zabala from Mindanao. Keep it coming. Just tell us where you're watching from. We're yeah. going to try to acknowledge you. How many viewers we got right now? We have 725 viewers. Great. Numero 13 <laughs> from <laughs> CDO from Cagayan de Oro. Well, again, this uh, gentleman right here, Jeffrey Ignacio, is from Surigao, same province that produced Dennis Orculio. And he has invited a lot of his friends and family to watch the final. And Julio Magalpok, shout out sayo, from Pasig City. Jeffrey Ignacio could be halfway to the goal at the end of these, if he pockets all of these th uh, four balls remaining. We, uh, we have Pak Shakur from California. <coughs> Lenan Cutler from Kentville, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova yeah. Scotia. Scotia, <laughs> yeah. Canada. Nova Scotia. Yeah. Yeah, in California, it must be like 3 a.m. or something like that. The west coast of the United States. Daylight savings is ended, right? Mm -hmm. So no more daylight savings time. Philippine time is, uh, what is this, minus 15. So it's, uh, or plus 15 to you in the United States. The west coast at least. Sabi ni Sir Resti Umali, no lead is ever safe. That is true. Yeah, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, I told that story yesterday. We were doing coverage uh, involving Marlon Manalo uh, a few years back. I think this was 2005 when he was going up against a foreign opponent as Jeffrey Ignacio has now taken a 5-1 lead. So Marlon Manalo was going up against his foreign opponent and his opponent had him at 8-0. It's final match of the night. We were, all go we were all going, all right, we're going home early. 8-0. Lo and behold, Marlon Manalo won the match. That was a race to 9, 8-0. The guy was on the hill. Marlon Manalo won the match 9-8. to eight. We stayed way past midnight on that one. I'm sure Francisco Bustamante will have his stories as well about his exploits. So for Rerax, Jeffrey Ignacio is at 9, Francisco Bustamante at 0 in terms of Rerax. Sa Rerax talaga yan, may bilangan pa. That's Rerax number 10 now. And shout out to James Zarco from Los Angeles. Rerax number 11 coming up. Yamboy Cortez the third, watching from Camarina Sur. Kurt Cobain Frias from CDO again. Ha? Daming nanonood galing uh, Cagayan de Oro. 
Re-rack number 12. <coughs> Singkit Tan from Pampanga. Re-rack 13. Jeff, anong ba to? Jeff Ikes from Taguig. Mm -hmm. Darwin Madriaga from, the, from Canada. 14 re-racks, 15 now. Jason Dova Luistro watching from Rome, Italy. Sean Apple from North Carolina, USA. There you go, re-rack no, re number 16. They've had a career high seven in this one. From Vijay or Vijay Puran? Did Vijay, Jeffrey, Vijay. Yeah. Did Jeffrey ever yeah. win any major international tournament? Not yet. He is playing great. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. In the future, Seguro, no doubt, he's going to win a major tournament. Yeah. yeah. Ephra, uh, make that Django is now telling Jeffrey Ignacio, hey, you better settle down with the... There's no such thing as a perfect rack here, and he's going to break right now. This break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. He actually made a couple of balls on the break, including the cue ball, though. So that's the problem. So John going out looking at the rack. He's back, though. He's down 5-1. I lost count of how many re -recs we had already. It mu <laughs> must have been in the 20s already. <laughs> you make it, though. Tiririt? Yeah. Tiririt. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> I was thinking he was going to ever make it down there, but he's okay now. He's going to either shoot the four up table or use a safety now against the six. And shout out to uh, Bilyaristang Pinoy in New Zealand, Jonathan Jimenez. Oh, went for the side to control it. Yeah, there you go. He needs to take the six ball on the same pocket for the seven. Or, hmm. Yeah, well, he can, I don't know that he can go around here and he's going to get the six, but yeah, position on the seven will be really strange. decides to just go straight at it and now the seven is the problem here because yeah, the nine moved well it lines up as a combination or it could also be a safety after let's see how he lands on the seven first Yeah, is he looking to play? He called a nine in the corner. So he will play the combination. Nice. And he drags the seven with him to give himself a good angle to get down to the eight. Behind the back. This is classic Francisco Bustamante.
So this is for his second win. Rack number seven is in the books. So five to two lead for Jeffrey Ignacio. But it will be Francisco Bustamante breaking in rack number eight. And of course, we would like to thank Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Cubao, Kikarex Kayano ng Target on air sa DZME 1530 kilohertz, Bounds Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, all about the process, Dehadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Ropa Commercial, Billiard Planet, and of course, Hard Time Sports Bar. And Francisco Bustamante just takes one look at the rack, you know, whatever it is, I'm going to smack it. <laughs> and this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. JR Pagergan, shout out from Japan. Heavy break. Doesn't seem to put anything in, though. Nothing on the break. Yeah, now the question is, does the one pass the five? It does not, so I think he might play safe here. Oh, he called the one. Or five. Did he call the five or the one? He called the five ball. He called the one, actually. Jean oh. goes up on the option. Okay. says one ball back shot good shot good shot well looks like the one is seen though yeah it is seen and, and this has spot in written all over it that's though. right <laughs> well let's see <laughs> let's see about that we have Lisa just Saying hi to Coach Ramon Mistica. Mm -hmm. and he's busy right now mm -hmm. saying nothing. And Panwal Corner. That's what he just said. He just said one ball on the corner pocket. Oh, nicely done. But where does he land? Able to get through the nine ball. You okay, Jay? <laughs> I'm good. All right. <laughs> uh, good to know. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat here. <laughs> yeah. We love this. We love uh, Coach Ramon Mystica. Of course. Very adorable man. He's got so many stories to share. Yes. And he's helped so many people as well along the way. One of the best billiard coaches in the world. Four ball into the corner pocket. Ariel Richard Nebab, shout out daw sa Sitio Pagkaisa, Zone 4, Aldren and Jomar. Yan, maraming salamat at magandang gabi. Yeah, there seems to be no more problems here for Jeffrey Ignacio. I'm trying to clean this up here in rack number 8. So AJ can actually give his patented what seal of approval. Mm. 
Go ahead. Well, then it's safe to say. Why are you saying it's softer and softer and softer? I don't get it. This is this is Jeffrey Ignacio. Yeah. Shout out daw sa tropang talpakers from Percival Obon or Obon. Where where is this place? Where is where's that, that group located? Yeah, di ko alam. Jeffrey Ignacio taking a six to two lead now. That's that quick. Mm-hmm. Here in the final. Parang uh, namumug pa ng konti dun, no? Bago, yeah, no? yeah, yeah, but <laughs> ni nam nam pa yung gist dun. He was still okay. So Ramon Mystica, you can see him on your screens. For those of you in the United States who miss him, he's here. He just can't travel back there because of all of the COVID stuff going around. Yeah. But he would love to be there. He was he was telling me earlier that that's his goal within this year. Should he be allowed to travel, he'll go back to the United States. And oh, stay there I for a bit. Yeah. Don't talaga siya naka base. He diba? is really based there. Yeah. The stay US. there for a bit and then help out for a few actually wants to stay there for a few years he wasn't even talking about months he wants to stay there for about four or five years and then come back yeah this is your best opportunity hindi lang ako kung sino yung mga may gustong magpa-coach kay uh, Coach Ramon Mystica uh, mamaya i-send ko ang uh, numero niya para makontak niya siya yeah you can, you can actually uh, you can actually have personal coaching with Ramon Mystica And shout out to Blessy Refeya from Giancarlo. And shout out to Steve Pilapil from Diet Camarines Norte. Also to Verhel Averilia, watching from Project 3, Quezon City. Randy Sanchez from Caloacan. Mm-hmm. And we have Aris Almario here. Rooting for uh, Jeffrey Ignacio. Well, Jeffrey Ignacio has a 3-10 combination waiting for him mm. after he makes this uh, two ball. And he is going to take a 7-2 to two lead. And shout out to Jojo who's watching in Boracay. Sarap naman noon. There it is. He's rolled it in to the 310 three combination. Ten combination coming right up. Jeffrey Ignacio has now taken a 7 to 2 lead and he is 2 wins away from winning the Hard Times 10 ball cup. Yeah. Ang bilis, no? Right. Ayun, pero bago yan, syempre maraming salamat sa sponsors natin. Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugaw, Ang Lugaw ng Cubao, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on air sa DZME 1530kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, Dehadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Altsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layered Tips, Billiard Planet, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Times Sports Bar. Jeffrey Ignacio trying to get on the hill. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Times Sports Bar. And lo and behold, a dry break. A dry break. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on the break. <coughs> Sonny Kual Viola. Papa shout out from Villasis. Pangasinan. Villasis. 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 Yeah, Pangasinan. Kalo Villasis. Villasis. Single L lang kasi nakalagi dito. Yeah. Villasis uh, is actually right after the bridge. <laughs> si King Agads. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. 
Nako, ang aga mag-congratulations ni Carlo Raimundo. Sabi niya, congratulations, Jeffrey Ignacio. Oh, don't go there. Yeah, it ain't over till it's over. Anong oras daw mamaya ang Sharks Nine Ball Showdown? Nine o'clock. Katanungan po ni Mr. Jose Haen. Oops. Oh. Jago Mystery. Three. Yeah, well, it's still gonna be at nine o'clock. Yes, tuli-tuli po tayo sa Sharks Nine Ball Showdown. Mm-hmm. Mamaya ang alas 9 ng gabi. And uh, shout out to Malvin Castaño from Singapore. Finally caught up on the live broadcast. Watched from Rack 1. Good job on the stream. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Sarap manood sabay kumain ng chorizo de Cebu. Aba, chorizo de Cebu. Wait until our friend Willie Agbayani sends <laughs> us Ibericos. Ibericos. From Spain. Or from Ibericos. From Spain. From Spain. Uh, Jeff came up a little weird on the angle here on the five. He can still make this, but getting to the six, he's going to have to do several rails, it appears. From Tochi Azares Lugao, when mentioned by AJ, sounds very social and sophisticated. <laughs> well, he, can you say well, that again? Lugao. Lugao. There you go. Ang Lugao ng Cubao. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Vilugao tatlo, or ewan ko lang kung ilan yung branches ng Vilugao. We have in uh, West Point, Cubao. Yan yung pinaka-main natin. Meron din sa Sergeant Esguera. Sergeant Esguera. Yeah. Meron din sa may Maginhawa. Maginhawa yeah. Maybe in Antipolo soon? Well, <laughs> depende kung gusto mo magtayo doon ng Vilugaw. Yeah. Vilugaw in Antipolo sounds good. Uh-huh. And he is gonna Look at this safety. Safe. Look at oh, that, that. that. That's a crucifixion right there. Look at that. Pero Django Bustamante called the eight ball. So... He's going to kick at this kick combination 6-8. Yeah. It's going to be also a spin in Taekwondo. is a spinning kick. That's what's going to happen here. He's going to go off the short rail. Oh, he's going to play several. This will be a treat. Oh, look My at that shot. Gosh. Nicely done. And even Jeffrey Ignacio has to applaud that of one. Of course. What a shot. Two rail kick to the 6-8 combination. Yet. AJ's uh, having he's amusing himself right now AJ's <laughs> amusing himself the uh, question is does the 9 pass the 10 that is one amazing shot by Francisco Bustamante So the nine ball does pass the ten. Yeah, it's going to be a crawler here. <laughs> Looks like the Secret Service is having a blast oh. with the last shot. However, Bumuka yung nueve doon. Nako. Sayang naman yung tinira niyang ano. Six Combination ball. Combination kani. Yeah. Ganda nun, ha? Combination. Well, eh. Jeffrey Ignacio now two balls away from... Oh! oh! Did he get lucky there? Perhaps another kick matter. shot That's going to be a nine. kick shot for by, by Francisco Bustamante. Yeah, that wasn't a gimme. That cut on the nine. That wasn't a gimme. Yeah. But that was more makeable. And look at that. And yeah, he's yeah. going to settle for a long shot on the 10. It's better than no shot on the 10. That's right. He's smiling. <laughs> oh! I missed the 10. Yeah, a bad miss on the 10. My placing lang daw mahirap. All right. You heard the man. <laughs> You heard the man. And then he smiles after he <laughs> says that. <laughs> yeah. Because he knows he missed it too. <laughs> yeah. 
Placing lang, mahirap daw. That means, uh, ano bang placing sa English? No, it's just a safety yeah, shot. Yeah, play a safe, safety shot, because it's hard. <laughs> That's what he yeah, said. He's going to go 10 ball corner pocket, so he's going to make this thing crawl. Yeah. Sabi naman ni Tracy Lemuel kanina, mumugation. <laughs> Look at the cut shot on this. Oh. Then it's going to leave for Francisco Bustamante. And Django survives. Well, he has to make the 10 first, but... Looks like he did survive that one. Jeff missing two tens that would have put him on the hill. Instead, this could be the start of a Francisco Bustamante run. There you go. <coughs> Seven games to three, still in favor of Jeffrey Ignacio. You guys are still salivating over that last shot by Francisco on the 6-8 combination off of two rails. But then, drama in the end. But if it was a referee, to just answer your question, he'd have to say it the, the other way around. Uh -huh. Here you go. Francisco Bustamante. Trailing three racks to seven. That's the way Makayla Tab would say it. This break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. And he is just not getting anything done on his break. Jeffrey Ignacio does not have an easy opening shot on the one. But at least he has an opening shot on the one. Resty O'Malley. Uh, sabi niya... He was holding his breath. Dun sa shot on that 10. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Ako din actually kanina eh. This is not as safe though. Francisco can see this. One ball. It is far, yes. He's still going to call it in the corner pocket, but he's now going to kick at it. Good contact, almost got the three, and sells out a 1-3 combination. With a good scatter, the two passes the nine. Everything else is going to be wide open. So, for all intents and purposes, this is Jeffrey Ignacio's rack to lose. He first must make the simple 1-3. Hold for the one ball. And just navigate the traffic to get to the two. Then everything else is target practice. Yes, natural angle to get out for the four. Probably draw it to a rail, get the five on the side. From Leon Denny Sr., negative 10 in Nova Scotia. Oh, I would be morning. surprised. <laughs> yeah. Very cold. Nova Scotia is like one of the coldest places in Canada. And we have Sir Willie Dines. I mean, go Django. Or Willie Dines. 
<laughs> Parang Pedering Dines eh, di ba? Oh, Last oh. name ng ano. Jeff, yeah, Jeff is just making sure about everything that he does here. Ayan, from Sir Tochi Azares, bago matapos ang finals. Maraming salamat sa Sharks and sponsors for this tournament. Thank you very As much. As always, sir. superb production, streaming, officiating, and commentary. Thank you very much, Thank sir. Thank you very much, sir. We're trying to keep it close enough to being at par with what you deserve. Yes. We've got it all for you. That's a different company, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you can also say we find ways, but that's also a different company. <laughs> we find ways. Ano pa ba? <laughs> Safe to say. <laughs> Safe to say. I didn't mean that, by the Ooh, way. Uh, it came <laughs> from you. Well, this is an elementary 10 for him. So you said? No way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The Cobra on the hill. Many did not expect this result right now, but again. Me too. It's still the first one who reaches nine wins. So Jeffrey Ignacio will be breaking in rack number 12 for the championship so how are you guys doing out there we could be in our final rack so if you want to have have yourselves greeted might as well just do it now from joy from joy Renting, you're in good hands <laughs> yeah i know no, I know. <laughs> but, but i'm, I'm yeah. thinking i'm thinking because it's joy Renting. It's Jordan thing who's saying it when he says you're in good hands. It's like suddenly I don't trust him. <laughs> 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 Only because it's Jordan thing. Why? Because I can imagine his hands. <laughs> and <laughs> say you're in good hands in the hands of Jordan thing. It's like, all right, you'll be in good it. hands with a sexy thing, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where those hands have been. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rob Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. And the shot on the one is negative. He did make the six on the break. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a kick safety here using the pile. Let's see. Just like that. Oh, well. That's not going to be a safe. That's a back shot to Django. Oh, nga no. That is a back shot. He's going to go two rails and get to that two ball. But he missed the bank. Mm -hmm. And he did not call the five. It's not going to go in. Yeah. Hearing things in their headset now that sounds like <laughs> aliens. <laughs> uh, Ito, may katanungan tayo dito na galing kay, kay Mac, Arps Mac. Sabi niya, hindi ba dapat nakamask sila? Down there, they are actually socially distanced all the time. Our cameraman, if uh, you should get to see him later. Ooh. Well, that's an unforced error there for Jeffrey Ignacio. Our cameraman does have a mask, but since they are practicing social distancing, no mask is required for the two of them. However, during our Sharks nine ball showdown, when there are more than just two people down there, yes, masks are required. In fact, temperature checks, disinfecting, Yesterday, I think, AJ, how long were we outside? I think we spent about like half an hour outside half this venue hour, because yeah. this entire place was being disinfected. Yeah, fumigation. Fumigation was going on. So we take a lot of measures to make sure that our players are safe within this building. Mm. 
You can see there, referee Ramon Mystica. Two rail kick going the other way. Oh, look at this. Look at this result. Yeah, yeah, and it's safe. You could have done better playing it by hand. Hmm, he called the one into the side. Nice shot there by Francisco Bustamante. Looks like everything's back online now for former world champion. So how are you guys doing out there still? We understand that Jeff Ignacio is on the hill, but look at who's going... He's going to try to make a comeback right here. Mm. Oh. It's not been Django's day. <coughs> Just when you're, when you're about to say that. He's trying to make a comeback. Hooked himself. Overdrew that yeah. too. The nerves probably starting to get now into Jeffrey Ignacio knowing that he wins this rack. He's the champion. That's good. Yeah, nicely done. Although I think Django might be able to see part of this three ball. Distance, but makeable. And that may have effectively been the last charge of Django Bustamante. Did it, it? Yeah, he gets it too. Did it, it? And I think uh, yeah, there was a reason given to why Jeffrey Ignacio uses so much chalk on his tip. He says he's using a round tip. That's why it requires a mm, lot of chalk. Yeah. Sir Noel, some famous slogan. Sarap ng feeling mo. <laughs> we'll take your far. Huh? We'll take you further or farther. Never had it. Never had it this good. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't <laughs> recall any of those. <laughs> They're familiar, to. Yeah. Sarap ng feeling mo. Parang alam ko to. How about in this one? I can feel it. <laughs> ano yun? That's an Alice Dixon line. Come on. Guys from the 80s can understand that, right? And I can feel it too. Jeffrey Ignacio, two balls away from the aura, from the, the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. Bago mag-uwian, isang last na vilugaw ang lugaw ng Kubao. 
<laughs> from Sir Todd. There it is. Jeffrey Ignacio is our champion. That's it. And <laughs> I think Django, Django thought he would get another shot here, but it's Jeffrey Ignacio with a very, very quick win against Francisco Bustamante in the final. 9-3. to three. And so we congratulate Jeffrey Ignacio. We will have a word with these two gentlemen in just a few moments. When we return, stay with us right here as you say the sponsors. Maraming salamat sa Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Cubao, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, Dehadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Billiard Planet, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. So in a while, mga kaibigan, meron tayong interview sa ating mga players, uh, Django and uh, Jeff Ignacio. So stay tuned. The Hard Times 10-Ball Cup has finally come to an end. We have a winner. It is Jeffrey, the Cobra Ignacio, defeating Francisco Bustamante. Kausapin muna natin ito si Champ Django. At Champ, ang dami natin pagkakataon doon. May mga minumog lang, may mga nasablay lang ng kote. Balikan natin yung, uh, mga laban, yung laban natin kanina. Unang-una, uh, pare, batingin ko muna yung family ko sa Jeffrey. Yes. Nanonood sila. Kumusta kayo dyan? Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan kayo. Haba, Noki, Slibadi... Alex, Guta. Uh, sumablay ka agad ako uh -oh. sa Gs. So, yun ang iniintay ni Jeff eh. Mm -mm. Kaya ginanaan siya eh. <laughs> Alam mo, ang larong 10 ball or 9 uh, ball, pag uh, sumasablay ka, ang kalaban mo ginaganahan. <laughs> so, yun, ang pagkakamali ko, uh, puro sablay. At uh, congratulations, uh, brother. Thank you. At uh, mag-enjoy kayo ni Bubit dahil nandiyan na siya. Picturean na raw. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, at, at, at salamat kay Paring Pere uli at uh, kay Hadley uh, Mariano. So, thank you, pare. Maraming okay. salamat, uh, Champ uh, uh, Francisco Bustamante. Kaya ito, Jeff, lapit ka ng konti rito. Grabe. Nung nalaman mo nga si Django na nga kalaban mo, medyo siyempre may konting nervous. Pero pagdating sa dulo, biglang niratsyada mo na lang ang, ang yung paglaban uh, nyo dito ni, ni Django. Anong, anong naging strategy mo nung bandang dulo? Nung uh, una po, medyo pressure ako. Yun nga yung sabi ni Champ, nung sumablay siya, yun, medyo nag-iba yung pakiramdam ko. Kaya yun, medyo ginanahan nga po. Oh, nung ginanahan ka na, dire-diretso na yun. Ngayon, di ba, sinasabi kanina, inaalay mo to para sa pamilya mo. Ito na yung pagkakataon mong bumati sa lahat na mga sumuporta rin sa'yo dito sa ating torneo. Okay, sige po. Uh, binabati ko po lahat ng uh, kamag-anak ko sa Surigao, mga kaibigan ko dyan, sa Las Piñas, mga kamag-anak ko dyan, sa uh, mga manager ko sa Cavite at uh, sa asawa at anak ko at sa nanay ko. Well, yun po mga kaibigan, eh, Jeffrey. Ay, sige ba, banat pa. Eh, pinasasalamatan ko po si Boss Perry and Sir Hadley sa pag-invite sa akin dito. Maraming salamat po. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Ignacio po ang kampyon nitong ating first ever Hard Times 10-Ball Cup. Stand by in just a few moments. We will have the Sharks 9-Ball Showdown. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Noel Zarate. We'll see you next time.